Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this will be the first progress check of the unit two. Um, starting off, selected values of F are shown in the table above. What is the average rate of change of F over the interval from one to six? So we're given a table and we want the interval from X equals one to X equals six. We want to show the average rate of change so you're just going to use the formula for the average rate of change. And it looks like, according to the answers given to us, we're not even evaluating it. But we'll, we'll just use the y values at, at x equals 6 and at x equals 1. Subtract them over and put them over the subtracted values of x and 1. Okay? And in this question, it's very similar. We're just trying to find the average change of f over the interval from 1 to 7. This time we're given a graph, and we don't even need to do any calculations here. We can pretty much just visualize what the line would be. So what is going to be the line at x equals through the points x equals 1 and x equals 7? And you can see that that will be a horizontal, li a horizontal line. And we're trying to find the average rate of change, which would just be the slope of that line. Um, the function f is given by, uh, this time we're given a function, the equation of the function, and we're trying to find the average rate of change over the interval from zero to pi halves. So this is a non-calculator one, and you can do this without your calculator. You just need to plug in pi halves and zero into sine of x right there. Um, but that's how you get your y value. So you need to get your y values by plugging in pi halves and zero into the function and then just calculate the average rate of change. Um, so the derivative of function f, remember that derivative f prime of x is what the slope of f is. So the outputs for f prime tell us the slope of f at a certain value of x. Which of the following procedures can be used to determine the value of x at which the line tangent to graph of f has a slope of 2? So remember that the y values of f prime are the slope of f. Um, a mistake here is that students will plug in 2 for x. But what that will tell us, that will tell us the slope at x equals 2. It won't tell us when the slope is 2. And so these options given here are just what, what is the procedure, so not actually doing it. But the mistake that you don't want to do is plug in x, uh, plug in 2 for x into the equation given for us. So um, hopefully that's a, a good hint given there. Um, the derivative of the function uh, f is given to us. So we have the slope of f given to us as a function. We're given a point on the function. And which of the following is an equation of the tangent line of f at x equals 1? Um, so to find the tangent line, which is given as y minus y1 equal to m times by x minus x1. So y1 and x1 is a point, so x1 comma y1, which we do have. We're told that f of negative 1 is equal to 5, right? f of negative 1 is equal to 5, correct. So we have a point. We have negative 1 comma 5. We need to find m, which is f prime, but we want to find the slope at the same x value given here, so m in this case will be f of negative 1. So we can get that by using the formula and go from there. Now, the equations given to us are in intercept, uh, slope intercept form. So you will have to, I mean, honestly, if you want, you can just use slope intercept form. But usually what I do is use point slope form and then convert to y intercept form. But that's what you'll do in this problem. Um, the graph of f prime, the derivative of the function f, is shown above. The points 2, 7 <clears throat> and 4, 18.8 .8 are on the graph of f. Which of the following is an equation of the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals 2? So just note that the, the, the picture given to us is that of the graph of f prime, not that of f. But... <clears throat> 
what we do have is two points. We only we should only need one of these points though. Again, we're we're just gonna follow the same process outlined before. I'm gonna use a the point slope form, and I'm gonna I would rather use the point two seven as the point that I plug into my formula. And then this time though, how do I get m? Well, I want m. I want f prime of two. So I want the value of the slope at x equals 2, and that's what the graph is here for. I can get f prime of 2 from the graph. So if I look at the graph at x equals 2, I see that f prime would be equal to 4. So that's what the slope of our tangent line is also going to be. Okay, And then you can go from there. And that's everything for this um, progress check.